Hey DJ, you know I've been thinking, do I have a name? I don't understand how this is possible. Uh, you okay though? No man, I I'm not. Hey, ask him what's wrong. What's wrong? Someone asked me how to fight like Shang-Chi. I mean, yeah, that's kind of what you do, isn't it? I don't see the problem here. Well, you know how characters like Batman or Black Panther say they have trained everything but only really show three or four styles max? Yeah. And? Yeah, Shang-Chi isn't one of those characters. Ooh. He knows so many styles. That's gonna be a long video, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Man, good thing I don't have to edit it. <laughs> Later. <laughs> What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing aviators and a superhero hat and welcome to the next episode of the Fight Like a Superhero web series. This is a series on YouTube where I take your favorite characters from cartoons, movies, anime, and games and break them down and break their fighting styles down to show you how you can actually train to fight like them in real life. So on this series, I am no stranger to challenging fighting styles. Like I've done chi blocking from Avatar's Tai Li, something that I honestly didn't even realize could be possible, but you know, it is. So uh, definitely check that out. But this fighting style right here, uh, it, it's, it's gonna be pretty hard to learn. I'm not gonna lie to you. Because today I'm covering the MCU's Shang-Chi. Now, um, I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, I am terrible at pronouncing words, even kind of terrible at pronouncing English words. So I'm gonna pronounce it the best way I can. Now it's the perfectly correct way, no, but it's the best that I got. So uh, be nice in the comments for me, please. But Shang-Chi knows so many fighting styles. It's not even funny. So let this be a fair warning that this video will be kind of long, but hopefully you like it enough to still hit me with that HBO special. What is the HBO special? Well, I'll tell you viewers, it's the help a brother out special. So make sure you help brother out because I'm trying to hit that 75,000 subscriber goal by the end of the year. So if you feel like it, if you feel like being generous, make sure you help brother out, drop a like, maybe leave a comment and subscribe so you see more of my videos. Well, if you want to see more of my videos, I guess. But with that out of the way, let's break down this fighting style. I honestly don't really know where to start, and I'm not just saying that. Shang-Chi uses so many different martial arts styles and switches between them so seamlessly that the martial arts nerd in me absolutely loves it. But for beginning's sake, let's start with his beginning, his childhood. As a child, he is shown training Wing Chun religiously. He even has a dent in one of these structural beams that he put in when he was a child. Yeah, that's some serious abuse. I mean, uh, uh, training, yeah, it was totally training. For those who don't know, Wing Chun is a concept-based style of Kung Fu. This self-defense form requires quick arm movements and strong legs to defeat enemies. Softness and performing techniques in a relaxed manner is fundamental to Wing Chun, which is kind of funny because that is definitely not how he trained it. Yeah, he bloodied his knuckles like every day, so the worst father of the year award uh, goes to this guy. However, his training and usage of Wing Chun doesn't just drop when he ages and leaves his daddy. He pulls from this style for the rest of his life and very often in many of his fight scenes. Continuing with things he learned from his abuser, I mean, uh, father, <laughs> his kicks are powerful and full of the exaggerated swagger of a black teen. Before falling into a headfirst dive is just full of the exaggerated swagger of a black teen. Swagger. <laughs> So he says swagger. Especially. Swagger! <laughs> I'm a black team. So dumb. But for real, they are absolutely learned from Taekwondo. This style is characterized by its punching and more importantly, kicking techniques with an emphasis on head height kicks, spinning kicks, jump kicks, and straight up speed. Speed. I am speed. And Shang-Chi very clearly uses his kicks in the same way. And for those of you trying to learn his fighting style for yourself, I personally recommend training in XMA. XMA stands for Extreme Martial Arts. It's a lot of what I post on TikTok or Instagram if you've been watching me on those platforms. So I'm allowed to go follow them too. But XMA or tricking is the concept of adding gymnastics like tumbling moves 
and elements to traditional martial arts. Now, the goal of this style is to put showmanship over functionality. So I wouldn't be using all those techniques in actual combat, but some of the kicks he's able to throw is so advanced that the only way you're gonna really learn how to do them is if you train in XMA. Well, XMA or Wushi, but we'll get to that. Now, Shang-Chi does showcase some skills in grappling. So I suggest specking into Shua Jiao. Now, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right, so I'll write the word right here for you. But this is the term pertaining to the ancient jacket wrestling kung fu. But in modern times, it's used as a general Mandarin Chinese term for wrestling. But the true style originates over 6,000 years ago and was used by soldiers during war times. So it's definitely earning a spot in your training list. A very, very long training list. Now, I mean, it seems to me personally that Shaolin Kung Fu is his base art. His strikes, blocks, and overall flow just scream Shaolin Kung Fu. And I totally understand why he relies on it. Simply put, it stood the test of time like almost no other martial art has. It's one of the oldest, the largest, and most famous styles out there. It combines Buddhist philosophies and martial arts and was created in the Hanan Shaolin Temple sometime around 500 AD. That means it was actually closer to Jesus than it is to us. Fun fact, it is also thought to be around the same time of the Battle of Mons Badonicus. Yeah, still don't know how to pronounce that. And if you're one of most people who have no idea what that is, don't worry, I got you, but it is what is thought to have inspired the legend of King Arthur. But while you're learning Shaolin Kung Fu, might as well spec into some Wushu for their weapons. Wushu and Kung Fu can technically mean the same thing, but in modern times it often refers to the sport or weapon aspects of Kung Fu. And since Shang and since and Shang Shang Chi shows proficiency in knife fighting, stick fighting, staff, rope dart, and many others all of which Kung Fu and Wushu will teach you, so make sure you just don't miss any of those classes because uh, obviously Shang-Chi never did. I mean, it was mostly because of the abuse, but uh, we're not gonna talk about that. And the last art you're gonna wanna make sure you pick up is also the last art we see Shang-Chi pick up. In the movie, we see Shang-Chi learn a new style of combat from his aunt, a style that literally blows air everywhere all around him as he spins his opponents like airbenders. And in fact, it's actually what airbending is based off of. Bagua Zhang, or Bagua for short. Bagua is often referred to as circle walking because one of the strongest characteristics is the circular movements practitioners make. Literally walking around the edge of a circle in various slow stances around what would be the enemy. At first glance, this may actually look very similar to Tai Chi due to the slow methodical nature at which it is usually practiced but they are very different past that. They also train unique staff and spear techniques, which is one of the reasons I absolutely love that they gave him a staff after he learned that style. Damn, like those fight scenes were so cool. And especially that knife fight in the tower, like I was full on geeking out. But anyway, I'm getting off topic, let's continue. Now for those of you that forgot to write stuff down, don't worry, I got you. You're gonna wanna learn Shaolin Kung Fu as well as general Wushu weapons, especially knives. You're also going to want to pick up Taekwondo and XMA if you're feeling a little spicy. Wing Chun until your hands bleed. And Xiao Zhao, uh, still don't know that I'm pronouncing that right, for those wrestling skills. Jiu Jitsu or Judo will work if you can't find a school for Xiao Zhao. And lastly, you need a dad that will abuse you into the strongest martial artist on the planet because, uh, you know, I guess it did actually work, so... There's that. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot. Great, you're back after I explained everything. Well, yeah, uh, you still haven't answered my question. What's my name? Nope, nope, not answering another question. They can decide what your name is in the comments down below. I mean, sure, that works for me. Pick something good, guys. But regardless, thanks for watching the video. Definitely subscribe if you aren't already. And until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out.